Yes. So after I posting last uh, couple of videos, I am getting a lot of comments that how can we play 4K video on a YouTube. So I was also experimenting that uh, how can uh, how YouTube can play 4K video. So uh, let's start. So f in the as in the last video we saw that there was a lot of problem with uh, searching some video on the YouTube. So thankfully I found one app, this is called Smart YouTube, YouTube TV. In this, at least the keyboard works very nicely and there are some other uh, cool stuff. So let me show you first. So this is the APK, the link to download I will post in the comments section. So do check. Let's start. <clears throat> so I will just click this install. So it gets stored, let, let it get open. Okay, so here you have to select 4K MITV and legacy. Okay, whether you say allow or deny, it doesn't matter. Okay, now I'll just, just say cancel, not now. In, if you want to sign in, it's very easy. Just uh, click the menu key and you will get this and just click sign in so you see the i'm using the mitv remote and it's working fine so just go to youtube.com slash activate from your in your laptop and type this code and then it will automatically sync get uh, this account will get come over here okay so that's the easy one <clears throat> so let's so so as you can see first i will tell you the searching stuff as you can see, I'm using MITV remote and everything works fine. So this is one big improvement in this application. I can search anything. I'm doing the four. Haven't tried with the USB uh, wireless mouse, but wireless keyboard and mouse, but I think it may work out there as well. So let's try the 4K videos. I'll go to that my pet video Hawaii one okay hmm. let's start playing this yeah so this is the 4k video so, so first let me enable the Nerd stats. Okay. So as you can see here, it's telling how many frames or oh, got back key. Okay. Now this is the good thing. You click video, you will see all this kind of formats. So as you can see, currently it is playing at uh, 1440p at 24 FPS and it is using ABC1 decoder. I will explain what ABC1 in VP9. So now let's try with the Full HD. As you can see, lot of drop frames now none of the frame is getting rendered as soon as I select 4k so that is a problem the moment I change the quality to start started working fine now for the same resolution and the frame rate I will select this codec VP9 again there's a lot of frame drops so that means there's some problem with the vp9 okay so i will tell you what is this uh, vp9 and abc1 basically they are uh, from the days of mpeg2 mpeg4 there is one group uh, which is called iso and itut they created this format mpeg2 mpeg4 and then later on h.264 so these these guys created another format called h.264 265 or what you also known as HEVC or AVC1 although these things are same 
but the problem is that this is a royalty base so you have to use user has to pay a royalty now google is started supporting another kodak which comes from the matroska that mkb file you you must have used earlier so that google is backing vp9 so all the 4k videos are being encoded using vp9 codec so that's the thing that vp9 codec so far it looks like it doesn't play very good for, for a higher resolution but if i decrease the resolution it does play fine so look like for a higher bitrate even with 720 it doesn't play let's try here okay so here it is playing so at least the codec is there but for the higher bit rates that codec is not performing well so i'll select 720p here also it's playing fine i will select now vp9 codec will full hd here also there's lot of frame drops so maximum it is supporting like 720p with the vp9 codec on this kind of video even full hd is now playing okay so vp9 has some problem at a higher bit rate and higher resolution now the problem is that google all the 4k video it will only come in vp9 you will not see 4k videos in on, on at least on youtube you will not see all uh, 4k videos in avc1 that's what you can see in the list 4k resolution is there but there is no corresponding avc1 so that's the one thing so so the takeaway from this is that uh, we cannot play full hd video uh, 4k video on youtube and even when i play in this uh, video we don't have a lot of movement but if i play some video which has a lot of action the performance is more bad let me show 4k let's try playing some 60 fps clips got hanged or what So this file has a lot of action and movement. So here we'll see some. Let's enable the stats. Okay. So as you can see, it is playing at a full HD and using the VP9. So VP9 codec best plays at full HD. Beyond that. creates problem even here also there is some frame drops again we will see the quality list again you see that for a 4k hd there is no avc1 
codec listing. There is only two listing of one is 60 FPS and one is 30 FPS. And it doesn't play even if I select. As you can see here also they are framed up because there's a lot of action in this clip. They are 342 frames being dropped. I can show you. If I select any of these, even ABC1, performance is bad. See, only the frames are getting dropped and dropped. Let's select See, I selected 4K and frames are only getting dropped and dropped. So, what does we know that that 4K, we can say that 4K has a problem. So, in order to find more on this, what, because I already shown you that 4K, LG and NASA clip play, plays fine. So, so, I went ahead to see that what was there in that clip. Let me show you one more time that clip information. Just come here. Okay, sample. Okay, I will play this with uh, MX Player, which can give you a lot of information. MX Player also get installed here. Not much problem. So I start over. tools properties say more so here you can see this is LG whatever the file is getting played in the background is also a uh, 4k HD file and but the thing is it is encoded in a HEVC codec and it's, it's still it is 60 FPS and this is getting played fine so see this is getting played fine this is a 4k HD file but the only difference is it is the encoded in HEVC format so the takeaway from this is look like this MITV is not able to handle VP9 codec on a higher FPS and uh, higher resolutions and higher bitrate as well as we have seen in the action click. So the 4K video does get played but in HEVC format. To further investigate, what I did was I downloaded those files, uh, YouTube video, what, what I was showing you, just to make sure that is it the problem with the app or something, or is, or is to rule out that. I downloaded this. Okay, so this is that file which we were playing from the YouTube. I downloaded using YouTube DL. I can put you the uh, send you the command in the description that how to do download this file easily. Okay. See, this one is also not getting played. So now I think it is proven that the problem is there in the MITV. It is not able to handle uh, VP9 codec, or there is it's not optimized. Maybe when we get some software upgrade, upgrade then it it can get fixed. 
but so far it looked like even with the the same clip what I have shown you from the YouTube same clip when I downloaded on a pen drive still it is not able to play. See, the PC becomes so slow. And the rest of the files also did not play. Yeah, 30 FPS. See, this is also not getting played. I tried with the other player as well. It doesn't get played. Even uh, VLC also doesn't play it. So the problem somewhere lies in the... Either the processor is too slow. It's not able to process those frames when this when the VP9 because I think the decoding takes a lot of time, lot of CPU or uh, something has to be optimized here. So that's all guys uh, just the motto of this video was to post experiments what I was doing with the YouTube. Do subscribe because the next video I'm going to post is for the ADB debugging on this TV. Thanks bye. Put your comments anything